The next action I want to show you is viewing the master track effects. Now I tend to use a lot of effects on my master track or my two bus, but I also like to keep a lot of room in my range window. So I don't see the master track all the time. So if I want to see the effects on the master track or add some, I have to go up here to the view menu and choose master track. And here's the master track for this project. And then go to the effects right here to either add some or tweak the ones already on here. As you can see, I'm using a few. But a quicker way is using a keyboard shortcut and an action. This way, we don't have to view the master track. We can keep it hidden. We'll just see the effects on the master track. And we can find this action if we go to the actions menu, show action list, and type into the filter master effects. And we can see there's two actions to choose from. We could bypass all the effects by toggling it, or this one just to view it, to adjust it, or add effects to it. And by default, there's no keyboard shortcut assigned to this, but I'd like to assign one to make this quicker. So I'll go to Add, Add a Keyboard Shortcut. Of course, you can use any keyboard shortcut you prefer. So now, if I want to see the effects on my master track or my two bus, just hit that keyboard shortcut and it shows up just like that, ready to be adjusted on any of the plugins or effects on this track. And if I want to close it, just hit the escape key. Keep working or mixing. If I want to view it again, hit the keyboard shortcut and it shows up just like that. Again, hit the escape key to close it. I think that's a lot quicker while you're mixing or producing to see what's going on with the effects on the master track. Hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go. Oh!